Hey gang, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of The Fishing Teacher. And man, I really appreciate you guys checking the video out today. And we're gonna be talking about how to fish a drop-off. I think a lot of people just getting into fishing, they've heard what drop-offs are. They're really good places to catch bass in the summertime. Not just bass, but different type of fish. So I'm gonna give you guys some tips and advice on how to fish a drop-off sort of on a foundational level. So also speaking of summer drop-offs, if you guys are uh, struggling to catch some fish right now in the summer, I'd like to invite you to check out our Fish the Moment summer lake map breakdowns. We've got breakdowns for all the summer months and a bunch of lakes across the country. And if we don't have a, uh, a lake on the website you're looking for, we can book a virtual lesson with me and we can go over on that. So I'll put the lake map breakdown link in the description of this video if you wanna check it out. Okay guys, drop-offs have been great places to fish. There's, there's anglers, but they, they started fishing drop-offs back in the 60s and 70s. This has been going on for a long time. It's one of the top areas to catch bass in the summer months. Anywhere from about late May, you know, on into October, it's a really good area to do it. Now, there's a couple, you know, why they use drop-offs, there's a lot of different reasons, but bass are sort of like any other uh, creature in nature. They like to be edge-oriented. You know, a deer always likes to be around the edge of the field in the woods for the most part. Bass are the same thing. They like to have some type of an edge, whether it's a piece of cover or a drop-off at lat acts as an edge. So if you're not familiar with what a drop-off is, guys, it's an area, let's say, for example, where you've got a, a point coming into the water, like a main lake point, and that point gradually drops off at, at the same slope. And then all of a sudden, there's a part of the drop-off that drops off faster than the previous slope. That is called a drop-off. And they range in, in a lot of different degrees because some lakes you can have a drop off of only two or three feet say for example in a in a natural lake like if you go up to lake st Clair in michigan a two to three foot drop off is a big drop off or you can have a drop off like in a river lake like lake chickamauga or lake kentucky or kentucky lake where it can be five or ten feet and all of a sudden it drops almost vertical down into 15 or 20 foot of water so there's varying degrees of what a, is considered a drop but just to make, just as far as a, a, a foundational introductory level to drop off fish and a drop off is any type of an abrupt fall off in a bank angle like that now the bass love this type of stuff in the summer one of the favorite things they like to do after they get done spawning is they'll move out to these drop-offs and they set on a lot of different parts of them depending upon the water clarity and the water depth sometimes for example say for example if the top of the drop-offs in five or six foot of water and then you break off into like 15 or 20 sometimes they live right on top of the drop-off you know in that shallower water especially if you have some type of cover because a lot of times before lakes were impounded um, there was timber in lakes and the top of those drop-offs were on the top of the creek channels and there's still some stumps and, and cover on a lot of those places so sometimes you can catch them not on the actual drop itself but sometimes up on top of it now other times depending upon the angle they can be on the actual drop-off they can actually you know fall down a little bit more and say for example if it's five or six feet then drop off to eight or ten they may be sitting on the bottom down there as the drop off starts you know say for example you know in eight to ten foot of water sometimes if the water's clear they may be at the bottom of the drop they may be on the bottom say in 15 or 20 foot of water and again a lot of this depends on the water clarity the type of lake if it's a river lake if there's much current anything like that and lastly sometimes when you're dealing with the drop off the fish will suspend over the drop off they actually won't use the bottom but they suspend in and around that drop off so uh, you can catch them out there just in open water. So the basically, here's how you want to fish a drop off for the most part. Locate it with your depth finder, like where it drops off. And then you want to keep your boat in the deeper water and start out casting up on top of the shallower part of it. And bring your lure, like a crankbait or a spinnerbait or a jig or football head jig, bring it down the shallow part of it and let it fall off into the drop off down to however uh, deep of water you think that's going to work there. I have found out in the month of June that a crankbait is a really good, you know, lure to fish drop-offs with because on a crankbait, you can target the shallow part and the lip as it drops down too, and it really triggers a lot of those fish in June. Now, once it gets warmer, like in 
July and August, sometimes I catch more fish on a slow bait, like a Texas rig plastic worm or a football head jig or something like that. But really, th these are type of areas that the bass will school in because when you catch a fish on a drop off, most of the time in the summertime, it's not by itself. Normally there's other fish there. That's why drop offs win a lot of tournaments and they're really good places to catch large numbers of fish. Some of the best lures just overall, we'll talk lures real quick. Like I said, the crankbaits are real good. Um, a hair jig works really good sometimes, a big white hair jig. Carolina rig, football head jig, Texas rig. Sometimes slow rolling spinner bait works good. Sometimes fishing a big swim bait on a heavy head works real good. So a lot of times you just have to experiment to see what the fish want. But um, for the most part, drop-offs, um, they're associated with river ledges or points. If you're on a lake that has a, uh, a river reen type area, like a, like a Tennessee Valley Authority Lake, you're dealing more with drop-offs on the main river. Whereas if you're fishing a lake like in my part of the country at Grand Lake, a lot of times you're dealing with drop-offs on the ends of points, like main lake and secondary points. But a good topographical map, or excuse me, a good GPS with a good mapping system allows you to find those those places really easy as far as uh, different type of drop-offs. Um, so it's something you probably need to learn to do, guys, if you're not familiar with it. But probably the best, probably the easiest way to get started at it is just like graph around on a main lake point out there and try to find the place on the point where it drops off sharper than any other part of the point and start fishing that area. That's a good way to start out. So hope it helps. We'll talk later.